Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. The next security mechanism that we can implement on our access layer switches is DAI, Dynamic ARP Inspection. Before you see what that does, let's have a quick review of what ARP does itself. ARP is the, is the address resolution protocol. We covered this in detail already. You should know this already. So in the example, we've got PC1 over on the left with IP address 10.10.10 and MAC address 1.1.1 and it's wanting to communicate with its default gateway at 10.10.10.1 so it needs to send out an ARP request to find out what its default gateway's MAC address is so it sends out an ARP request saying I'm 10.10.10.10 I'm looking for 10.10.10.1 what's your MAC address that comes into the switch it's broadcast traffic so it is flooded out all ports it reaches the route or on the right also the pc on the bottom the pc on the bottom is not ip address 10.10.10.1 so it will just silently discard the packet but the router is so it will send back an arp reply saying i'm 10.10.10.1 and my mac address is 2.2.2 PC1 will then update its ARP cache to say that 10.10.10.1 is available at 2.2.2. R1 will also learn that PC1 10.10.10.10 is available with a MAC address of 1.1.1. And then when we have traffic between the PC and its router, it comes from 10.10.10.10 going to 10.10.10.1. Source MAC is 1.1.1 on the PC, going to a destination MAC of 2.2.2 on the router. And when the router sends traffic back, we just flip that round. So it comes from a source IP address of 10.10.1 going to a destination of 10.10.10. Source MAC is 2.2.2 and the destination MAC is 1.1.1. So that's just the standard way that ARP works. But we can have a problem here if that PC down at the bottom happens to be an attacker. Now, this is different than the rogue DHCP server problem. A rogue DHCP server, more often than not, is accidental. It's not actually malicious. If you get man-in-the-middle ARP spoofing, this is a malicious attack almost always by an attacker though so what's going to happen is our attacker on the network here it has to be in the same ip subnet so the ip address is 10.10.10.100 in our example the attacker's mac address is 3.3.3 and the attacker sends out a gratuitous arp a gratuitous arp is an ARP update which is not in response to an actual request. So this it's just the attacker says, hey, I am 10.10.10.1 and my MAC address is 3.3.3. So it's spoofing the router's IP address of 10.10.10.1. And the PC will update its ARP cache saying, oh, I got an update for my ARP entry, 10.10.10.1 is not at 1.1.1, it's actually at 3.3.3. And the attacker will also send out a gratuitous ARP saying I'm 10.10.10.10, which is a PC, and my MAC address again is 3.3.3. And the router will update its ARP cache with a new entry for the PC. So now what happens is when the PC sends traffic from IP address 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 to 10.10.10.1, it looks in its ARP cache and it sees to send that to 3.3.3. So it goes to the attacker, not to the router. The attacker can then send the traffic on to the router. When the return traffic comes back, it's going to be coming from 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 .10 at the router to 10.10.10.10 .10 at the PC. Again, because the router's ARP cache was also poisoned, it sends the traffic to 3.3.3, .3, which is the attacker, and the attacker can then send it back to the PC. So what happens now is, well, one of the benefits of a switch is that it only sends traffic out on the relevant port. 
So if the attacker was trying to sniff that traffic, it never hits the attacker's port, so the attacker can't see it, so it can't see the traffic. But if the attacker does this man-in-the-middle ARP spoofing attack, all the traffic goes through the attacker, so they can sniff the traffic and see what that communication says. So it's a huge security issue. Now, if the attacker isn't able to do man-in-the-middle like spoof to poison the ARP cache on both sides, then this can also be used for a denial-of-service attack. Rather than the, say the PC sending traffic to the router, rather than the attacker actually sending onto the router, the attacker could just drop it. So this can be used for man-in-the-middle sniffing. It can also be used as denial of service. Usually this will be a malicious attack. The attacker can use a tool such as Kane and Abel, which is very easy to use to do this kind of attack. So how do we stop that from happening? The answer is DAI, Dynamic ARP Inspection. When you enable DHCP snooping, so for DAI, you need to have enabled DHCP snooping already. It can't just work on its own. When you have enabled DHCP snooping, the switch inspects the DHCP traffic and keeps track of which IP addresses were assigned to which MAC addresses. The switch is in between the DHCP server and the PCs. So it can look at all that DHCP traffic. It, when the client sends out the request, it can see what the client's MAC address is. And when the server sends the response, it can see what IP address was assigned to that MAC address. So the switch keeps track of the IP address to MAC address mappings. For example, PC1 with MAC address 1.1.1, it was assigned IP address 10.10.10.10 by the DHCP server. Then, if invalid ARP traffic tries to pass through the switch, for example, our attacker at 3.3.3 .3 saying that it is 10.10.10.10, .10 .10 .10, the switch can see that that MAC address does not map to that IP address, it's invalid, and it will drop the traffic. So it prevents attackers from spoofing ARP on your network. For our configuration on this, on switch one, we say interface fast zero slash one, IP ARP inspection trust. For hosts which do not get their IP address from DHCP, obviously the switch is not going to have a mapping of MAC address to IP address for them because they didn't get it from the DHCP server. So for those hosts such as your routers, firewalls, maybe servers, etc., you need to configure the switch to trust them regardless. So any non-DHCP clients, configure those as trusted ports. For all of your other PCs which are getting their IP address from DHCP, they're not going to be trusted. The switch will do dynamic ARP inspection. The way you enable that is at global configuration, IP ARP inspection, VLAN 10, for example. So it's enabled at the VLAN level. Okay, so that was DAI, Dynamic ARP Inspection. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.